Hello again. This morning I'm going to show you how to upholster my H2 SE seat. I've made the cover up. Where's the cover? Here it is. I've made the cover up there. Um, green stitch. Green diamond stitch. Uh, elastic all the way around. Makes it easier to upholster. Stop the staples going through it as well. Um, staples need to be 6mm, which is here millimeter staples and if you make a mistake staple lifter and take the staples out uh, pinches to remove the staple also um, yeah so I'll get going right so we need the center of the seat which is there the center put a little mark on there uh, the center of the back of the seat there's a little line here just next to that well, obviously you need to take that bracket off there's a bracket that goes on the back. You need to be able to take that off. So you can get the staple going in. I've got a long nose staple going here. You don't need that. It's just I've left the other one at my other workshop. So I'm using this one today. Right, so here we go. So it's elastic so we can put it on, move it around. Oh yeah, you need to, it's a very important. You need to put plastic over stop any weather getting the foam any rain getting water and that getting into the foam and i've done the same with the rear seat as well plastic on there actually this is my seat and i've got gel in there as well uh, 20 millimeter of gel in there for me fiance and also i've got 20 millimeter in there as well i've wrapped it in the six millimeter scrim form also i've done the same with the rear it just gives it a bit extra New feel, I suppose. Right, we'll get started. I hope this is working. It is recording, yeah. And I've got a little microphone on here as well. Hopefully that's working. Right, let's have a look. Pull that cover on there. Pull it over the front. If you don't want to do the upholstery yourself, just take it to your local upholsterer and they'll, they'll do it for you. Or just send your seat to me and I'll do it. There's always an option. Right, so you know where the centre is because of this little, this bit here, that's the centre there. And we've got a line on there, itchy face. Got a line on there, so we'll pull that down. Make sure that's on there. Pull that down, put a staple in. Without stapling your finger, you should be using uh, eye protection as well, but I haven't. I haven't. Um, I've never stapled myself in the eyeball. So. But you should be wearing safety glasses anyway. So there's a center line there. That center line here. So make sure of that. Pull that over a little bit. It's important for it to be central, otherwise it won't look very good. We'll stay in there. Right, so you've got one there. Well, I'll put two there. One there. And then... There's a, you can see where the corner is. It's just shaped here. So that needs to go into that shape there. So I'll just pull that over onto there. If you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. Take the staple out and do it again. Put one straight. Put one in there. Straight. Keep the staple straight as well. This is this, this side as well. Put that round there. Put a staple in. Right, that bit here. Goes around there, so put a staple in there. So on this side. Right, 
Yeah, so see, opposite each other, directly opposite each other as well. So then it keeps the fabric straight. Yeah. Now over here. And fold the seam out. There's a seam inside there. Keep that plastic out of the way. Fold the seam out. Pull it round. Staple in. And then go to this bit here. Again, keep the seam folded all the same way, all the way around. Fold the seam out. When you see that? Pull that round. Staple in. Um, this is all real time. I don't know how to edit video, so if I make a mistake, it's just going to be there for all time, basically. Um, so, yeah, you always follow on. You want to set one there, one there, so it's always, you know, put in the same place. And you can't twist it, you can't go wrong. Another circle here, over to that side. And you haven't got many staples in there. And then you just check it. Make sure it looks straight. fold so you fold in that way do the same this side it doesn't need to be because you never see it but I, I just like it to be the same if someone takes a seat off and you think well there's a couple of plates in there only one in there what's going on is that being fussy I, I don't know I just that's the way it is I'm not going to put too many staples in but um, this is off my bike this seat and um, I'll be selling this cover, so I'm going to take the cover back off. I don't want to be taking millions of staples out. So I'll just put a few in, just to make sure it. Well, I know it fits because it's uh, it's my template. I made a template up. Where's my template? I'll go and get my template. <coughs> right. So. This is my template, I made it out of cardboard, put all marks on there where the saw go, where I stitch and that little nick there corresponds with the other bit. Um, that's the rear seat. Obviously this one is for this one. No it isn't, that one is for this one here. That one there, it's got Alicantara suede uh, with a logo and that sort of goes like that you know what I mean cool I'm also selling that cover as well I waterproof this suede stuff as well so it's um, it's okay for the weather in the UK so yeah that's a real one to go with it um, I think it's on eBay at the moment I'm not sure I can't remember if I put them on eBay or not I put some on eBay yeah Cool, so that fits quite nicely. See that little crease there? I'll be taking pictures later, so I'll have to put more staples in just to make sure it looks good when it's on the bike. Put that on there. This side. Staples in. Is 
Now I know this is gel in here. Where I've been putting memory foam in as well, inch memory foam. It just, I, th I don't know which is the best, gel or memory foam. I'm, I'm getting quite a lot of feedback. And it's looking like memory foam is the one. But um, I'll ca continue gathering feedback off my customers. See how it goes. Right. There's little silver marks on here off the, off the pen, or white lines, leather pen. So what I do here, if I forget, and you get one with silver lines on, I'll show you how to get rid of it. Uh, basically, pencil rubber. And just rub out those little silver lines with a pencil rubber. It's actually water soluble, this, uh, these leather pens. So it's going to come off anyway, but you really, you want it to look, <laughs> it needs to look good first impressions and all that. So I can make sure that I get rid of all these silver marks before I post them out. that one. I'll put that on the bike this afternoon, take a few pictures. Right, that's that one. Right, I'll do the same with that. So yeah, again, it's got six millimeter foam on there and plastic to stop the weather. The rear seat, but uh, H2 SX. I actually done a H2 without the SX on which is just here I was, I've got a couple of complaints saying it's like it's not a H2 it's a H2 SX but it's still a H2 I mean there's a ZH2 it's still a H2 um, obviously the one I've got is the SX it's the SX SE the SX SE Plus the all H2 and then there's a 1970s Kawasaki H2 which is the original H2 you know, you could argue all day long about different things, like the R1M, is it the same as an R1? Well, I own a H2, that's what I'm saying. SX, still a H2. Right, okie dokie. So, I'm selling that as well if you want this. Um, I'll put this cover on. <coughs> See, it's got the elastic in just makes things a lot easier to do. So I got a, a seat cover from Portugal and it had the elastic down and I, I posted it for I know, was it a Triumph or something. Big seat, big um, adventurer bike seat. And it was it was a breeze to up, it was tight, but it was a, br a breeze to upholster with this elastic round. So that's what I'm doing from now on. Especially if... Um, a customer wants to upholster it themselves, especially like the bike builders. Um, they like to do everything themselves. So if they can upholster the seat themselves, then all, all well and good. I'll just uh, show them how to do it. And if they watch this video, cool. Right, again, everything needs to be central. So that seam there on the corner. That's seen there on the corner. It's very important for that, that to be centre or it'll just look rubbish. And also this seam here, you can see them lumps. You need to fold the seam out. I mean, uh, another one I did, I put this green top stitch across here. It just didn't look right, so I'm leaving that off. I think it's enough. I think this top stitch around here there's enough stitching, you don't need it on there, you've got the logo. Obviously you can do it in any colour you want. I'll get this, um, oops, last, that, you see that? I'll fold that seam up. I mean, I'm a, I'm a being too fussy, I don't know. I just, I think it looks better if that seam's pushed out the way. 
and then staple in there same again it's the same principle with everything staple that staple that one there one there and then you go in between have a look make sure it's all nice and central and just continue filling it all in uh, that way you can't well you can't make a mistake but you're less likely to oh yeah one staple here Make sure that's nice and straight and central. So that point that you can see is the middle. And between them two lines is the middle. So that's staple in there. And one in the side. So here, see that little little dent? That's just the same. Just get your finger in there push it out push it out like that pull it staple in there and then directly opposite again so that's there directly opposite make sure you obviously I'll keep reminding you to fold that seam out You need a, obviously you need a compressor. Most people have, if you have their own garage, you've got a compressor. Staple gun, about 80 quid, something like that. Staple, box of staples, three pound, box of six mil staples. Uh, I know it's a bit of an investment, but you can use this after for putting posters up and stuff like that. It's not, not a massive amount of money. And it's the tack wise, um, they're not the best make in the world, but they, they, they last quite a long time, so, you know, cool. Right, so I've got one there, one there, one there, one there. I go to the corner, make sure the corner's on. Fold the seam down again. So I'll put this video on YouTube. I don't have a YouTube at the moment, I'll just use TikTok. But, um, I'm going to start using YouTube. Nice and tight. Obviously that 6mm fold, they wrapped it in, it helps a lot. Like if they tighten it up and it looks, it just looks new again. Yep, put one in there. So as you keep that edge all the way around, so when you look like that, you can't see it. And obviously you need to put all the staples in all the way around, but I'm not gonna do that because it's coming back off. side yeah but then put up like how many I'll tell you what I'll finish this bit off and I'll show you how many staples you should be putting in it sort of about like that all the way around and then yeah job done so a bit of a check of it looks okay to me rub that off there if you haven't got a um, the Kawasaki H2 SX or SE or whatever it is, um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely amazing. I had an R1 before, 
yeah, I won. Pretty powerful. This is just beyond beyond belief. Unbelievable. Acceleration is just on top. Sixth gear, 30 mile an hour. Open it up, boosh, you're gone. It's just incredible, incredible. 200 brake horsepower, immense. And then you get all the anti-wheelie and quick shift there. Um, corner and braking. Unbelievable machine. Kawasaki nuts, absolutely nuts. I think really they should bring a 600. If a 600, same power as a 1000 cc because of the supercharger, it'd be immense. Unreal. Okay, job done. I'll have a look and put them together, show you what it looks like. That's what it's going to look like on the bike, like that. Thanks for watching. Catch you up with you again later. Thank you.